In this video, revealing how to start an ATM business and how complete beginners earning $100 a day to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand in 90 days, so check it out now. So I have this like disgusting obsession for learning ways to create passive income for myself, even to be scrappy when I don't have any money, how to actually go ahead and make money. And even with like very little capital whatsoever, I found a way to go from zero to $8,000 in 30 days with one business model. Another business model went from zero to five grand in 30 days to $1.6 million that first year with 30% profit margins with very little money upfront. And another business, which was the cheapest business to start, which was like a digital real estate business that earns anywhere from like 35 grand to 46 grand like a month on, right? Which is funny because if you would have told me before I started traveling and going to all these events and teaching all these people my methods all around the world, like from, for example, Thailand, uh, Bali, and Las Vegas, there was a point in my life where, as you can see, I was literally stuck in an occupation that I did not like. I did not have the time, I did not have the money, and I did not have the experience. So if I wanted to go ahead and, for example, start an ATM business, which is like a popular thing nowadays, I would wanna see, well, how would I get started? How much money would it actually cost me? And how could I get somebody else to pay that so that it's not risk on me? I started thinking about that in ways on how could I actually generate money while kind of mitigating my risk. And that's kind of like how I started, you know, allowing myself to go from not knowing much things, being not the smartest person in the world, not having no experience whatsoever to start creating freedom for myself. Which is why when I see like, for example, this article, how to start an ATM business, where they say the first thing that you need to start an ATM business will actually be three grand to 10 grand, you know, it kind of like makes people not want to do it because like, oh, three grand or 10 grand. But remember, just because it costs money doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the one that pays it. Okay, there's so many creative ways to make money in the money space. Now, even though this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, I wanna just kind of encourage you to start thinking creative ways on other ways that you could do businesses that most people don't actually think about because business, especially the ATM business, isn't like a, a thing that you go to school and it's like step A, step B, step C, step D. There's so many creative ways you can do, like I said, to go ahead and create it. So let's actually break this down. The first thing that they wanna talk about is plan your business. So what are the startup costs included? Who is your target market and all that stuff? So as you can see, the cost is about 10 grand to three grand. And you need $2,000 in cash on a rotating basis for people to go ahead and, for example, pull money out. So most people don't actually have that. So one way that you could actually use to go ahead and make that money is two folds. Number one, you could go ahead and, for example, just start podcasting really successful people and hope that they're gonna give you money, right? Like that's what I did here in Bali, interviewing this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, or this guy that makes a million dollars worth profit. That's what like would be one way. It would be a little bit harder, but if you don't have the money, you can kind of fund it by just building a network of really rich people around you, getting some type of an idea, and then you know asking them, for example, to invest in your idea, and you'll give them a return in investment, or you could partner with them, where say they give you 10 grand, you do all the hard work, but you make sure that they make their money back. That's what a lot of people actually think. You know, like for example, I got in a business deal where someone had a lot of money, but did not want the time or energy to start a business. And here I was, someone who had all the time and energy in the world because of my youth, but I just had no money. So he was willing to invest in me, and I was just gonna be willing to work really, really hard and give him a return in his investment. Because people with money want a return in their investment, they wanna beat the market. If I could, if, if he, say he gives me 10 grand, Right? If he gives me 10 grand and I can make him $20,000 a year, or yeah, no, $2,000 a year from that 10 grand, where he'll not only get the 10 grand back, but he'll get an extra 20% return, he's already technically beating the market in traditional stocks. Remember, this is in financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but you could see why someone who's successful would be willing to loan money out because they want to return an investment. If you truly believe that an ATM business can be the way that you could generate him not only his money back, but an extra $2,000 a year, people would be willing to do that. But of course you would have to, for example, interview them. And the next thing that you could do is you could literally go to someone like, for example, you know, a local business owner, someone that owns like, uh, like something like a, like a restaurant or a bar or a nightclub. If you notice that they don't have an ATM there, you could literally go up to them and say, hey, 
here's all the statistics of how much venues like you make from the passing from the ATM machine. They're like, oh, wow, 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 cool, cool, cool. You could interview them for a podcast or like a podcast that you're gonna start, but the podcast is not important. It's just the best excuse to network with someone because everyone wants to talk about their story. So that's literally how I built my network. I'm like, hey, you wanna jump on a podcast? The podcast did not exist when I asked them that. They're like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll talk and have a conversation. And I just use that podcast as a way to get market research and learn from them. So you can literally start a podcast with all the local business owners in your area and you'd be like, yeah, 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 cool, yeah, yeah, there's this ATM business, yeah, yeah, like look at all the money that you can make. And they're like, oh, really? And then you could just partner with them where they will actually get the cost of the ATM, but you just manage it for them. You literally just manage it for them because guess what? There are business owners that are managing a business. They don't have time to worry about an ATM business side hustle, right? Like doctors are worrying about like, like solving patients. Dentists are worrying about fixing people's teeth. They don't have the time and luxury to think about something else. But guess what you do? They have the money, you have the time, you create that partnership. That's how most businesses start. Someone with a lot of money, Mado time. Someone with the time and ideas, but no money, right? Does that make sense? And then the ongoing costs are $2,000 cash a week. When you go to an investor, they see it as a return in their investment because you know the ATM charges a fee for someone that pulls out like money. So they're literally getting a return in their money. Does that make sense? Now the target market are people that need quick cash. So restaurants, bars, strip malls, convenience stores, shopping malls are great places, but literally the best ones are when people go out drunk and it's nighttime and all the things are closed. Like I think if you double down on that, you will make the most money. And they make money because the ATM charges each customer a fee when they draw money out. And that's $2 to $3 per transaction, right? So how much profit can an ATM make? Literally, they could average about $500 per month per ATM machine. So remember, it's all about building a network of business owners. If you podcast with like, you know, 30 restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and you get 30 of them, you could essentially make about $15,000 a month profit, but then you could split it with all of these people that don't want to manage their ATM machine, and you could essentially get seven grand profit, but you don't have the upfront cost of putting money in yourself. Like what most people do when they start an ATM machine business, they have to front the 10 grand themselves. But in this model, you don't have to because you are smart and you found the creative way of networking with these business owners and found that, wow, you already have 10 grand sitting there. What if I can make you more money on the side of doing whatever it is that you're doing? And let me just manage the ATM in front of you know, your place. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, let me manage it. Cause they don't know it, they're local business owners. They don't have the tech savviness to understand like, like online stuff, right? but you do because you're watching this video. Does that make sense? And how you can make your business more profitable? The more machines you have strategically placed, the higher profits. Many new business owners find comfort in investing in franchises, but once you have learned the intricacies of this business venture, consider passing this knowledge onto new entrepreneurs by offer, offering franchising opportunities, or the better way is just, you know, like I said, partnering with all these local businesses, where even though you'll make less upfront, you'll have less risk, but you could scale by having multiple different locations. And when you have one location does really well, you literally take that case study and you go up to another competitor of theirs and be like, hey, we do this for your competitor. Uh, they make this much money literally doing nothing. I manage everything. We just split the profits. They'll be like, yeah, that's awesome, right? And that's traditionally how you can make an ATM business, but not just an ATM business, any business work. Right? That's literally what we did with all these other 77 other ideas that you could download for free in this cheat sheet below on 77 other ways to create passive income for yourself that you could do with no money down, no experience and no tech skills whatsoever. But if you want to know the fastest way where people are creating freedom for themselves, like what we teach people in Thailand, in Bali, in Las Vegas, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below because we literally have people go from zero to thousand dollars a day in 30 days or less faster than anything else. As well, check my podcast with all these successful people that live here in Bali. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million. This guy that makes a million dollars from profit. Check it out right here, right here. Hold this up. Remember, this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!